honestly, I just feel like this place should have its own currency too. Like it is so different. It's amazing that we're still in Spain. Because Two months traveling on the road, our home is where the traffic flows. We'll bring you everywhere we go and sleep in a freezing cold van because we're a little bit crazy, but you'll see that it's worth it. Okay, today we are off to the uh, old city of Madrid. Van. Metro station. awesome is looking at the Real Academia Española and when I was growing up in Puerto Rico they were the ones that determined if a word was or wasn't Spanish and every year they accept new words into the language or banish old words and stuff like that and it was always just this like thought of a place that I never envisioned what it actually looked like and now I stand and it is a brick and mortar structure with that giant banner that says that is them. It's so cool to actually be here in person. So we just came out of the Museo del Prado which has the largest Goya and Velasquez collections in the world and it was really amazing. Oh my gosh, uh, I wish we were able to film or take pictures in there but unfortunately you have to come see it for yourself. Now we're going to uh, Museo Reina Sofia um, which has the modern art and uh, it's about a mile walk, so onward and upward. Visiting big cities like this is so different from what we've been doing so far with the little tiny towns. It's just so hard to like get a handle on it. Where are we? <laughs> so the museum that we're gonna go to now after the first one, the one that's more the contemporary art, Turns out they are closed in the afternoons. So instead we're going to some really awesome plaza thing that Maddie has on the itinerary. So we're standing in front of the Cibele Palace. Uh, it used to be the headquarters of telephone and telegraph and basically communication um, post office, but now it's the city hall. And it's in one of the more historical centers of Madrid. There isn't really a great view of it up close because it's so huge. So we're gonna go back that way to get like a wider view of it. Okay, we have here, it's all tapas uh, in this market. And so we have started with just a couple. Got fresh salmon here and a giant mountain of cheese. Oh, that is really good. Oh, it's smoked. Mm. This is really good. This is uh, chorizo ibérico. <laughs> and these are stuffed olives. And this is a table. So you guys have been seeing me taking a bunch of pictures. The best of those pictures go on my Instagram, Rigging Doctor. And so if you follow Rigging Doctor on Instagram, it's a really good way to see the current places that we are in in real time because the videos, as you know, are about two months behind. 
So check out the photos I take on Instagram and we'll see you in real time. back at Lago, our train station. Thankfully we have a super short walk. Bye train. Train's going away. <laughs> so we have a super short walk to the, the van. van. Of art we're gonna see here is the Guernica and I'm extremely excited. This room is amazing. Uh, Juan Miro is one of my favorite painters of all time and this is a whole room of him. studied art history for years and years, uh, one of the things that they talk about in almost every single class is Picasso's Guernica. And it was even bigger than I could ever have imagined. It was so cool to see it in person. It, they talk about it in art history class, highlighting the agony and uh, destruction caused during the attack on Guernica. And it was just so amazing to see how true it it really is. <laughs> cool it had amazing museums but as for the city itself it hasn't been our favorite stop it no. was just kind of like it was the city that museums were located in yeah i just i didn't love it as a city it, it, was, it didn't capture my fancy the way i thought it might but uh we are headed on to bilbao now we just stepped off the metro and are headed back to our van Ginny the adventure continues. here in Bilbao for only one day so we have to see the most important things in our opinions which uh, the very first is the Peggy Guggenheim Museum so first thing we got to do is walk down quite a ways into town everything is uh, pretty close together because it's a pretty small town city which is nice compared to Madrid this is much more doable <laughs> my first impression of this place being we just woke up here and haven't even eaten yet. Is stairs. 
Stair, 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 stair. <laughs> it's all stairs. So in this place, which is a uh, fast country, we're going to be able to out. The people look different, the architecture is completely different, and they have an entirely different language, which I've never been exposed to before, which is Basque. And the road signs are Basque and Spanish. Honestly, I just feel like this place should have its own currency too. Like it is so different. It's amazing that we're still in Spain because nothing about this feels like Spain. This feels so new. It's really cool. So later we'll be walking that way to the Guggenheim, but right now we're walking this way towards this Mercado. Yeah, look at how come no one told us to come here? Everyone's like, go to Madrid, go to Madrid, but this is way cooler. I mean, the architecture here is amazing. There's a little girl in Skibbereen with flowing hair and ragged jeans and floating in a vivid dream as classes go by. And every day at three o'clock, she's out the door and down the block and hurries to the river dock with a gleam in her eyes. And everything's fine for the day There's nothing to get in the way of her smiling There's never a care for tomorrow Cause Molly's a princess today Oh la 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 The barricade's a castle wall 47 miles tall the river's got a waterfall the moat is so deep the cedar trees are canopies a ceiling made of needle leaves a buzzing fleet of honeybees are guarding the keep no one can take this away it's locked in her mind and can never escape and there's never a care for tomorrow because molly's a princess today oh and cold when your heart grows up and gets old the dreams of your past never quite seem to last in the future that's so far away but here in this place so who's your favorite artist jeff coons and what's your favorite flower the pansy is a princess today jeff coons Puppy, in 1992. All pansies. The story line, the chapter is done. The mystery of what will be tomorrow when the clock strikes three. There beneath the cedar tree, the princess will come. And there's nothing that she couldn't do. When she closes her eyes and imagines the view. And there's never a care for tomorrow. So we've eaten. We walked around the outside a bunch, and now we are going in. We just finished up at the Guggenheim. It was a really, really cool experience. Again, we were not allowed to film inside, but you'll just have to come and see for yourself. If you're a lover of art, you'll really, really appreciate it. Now we're going to walk back to the van. Our day in Bilbao has ended and we are going to make plans to head to France.
Bilbao was really cool, but we've got to get a move on, so we're headed to France. Goodbye, Bilbao. You were awesome. I want to return someday. Yeah, Bilbao was really cool. <laughs> I really enjoyed it here. There's so much more to see. Sharp left. We are here parked just outside of Bayonne. Basque Country is really unique. It's been really cool to be here and to travel from Spain to France. Bordeaux, yeah. as you probably know, is extremely famous for its wine. Extremely famous for very expensive wine. Expensive wine, yes. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.